Uh, today we're going to look at how to web scrape with pandas. Now that's not something you would immediately associate with pandas, um, but stick with it. I'm going to attempt to scrape a Wikipedia page with one line of code using less than 100 characters. So if you'd like to see that, let's begin. On this screen we have EN, so that's English Wikipedia, um, International Formula 3000. Uh, I've chosen that because I used to follow it and I knew that there was a good chance we would have a nice table that we could scrape. So let's scrape the page to start with and once we've done that let's try and narrow it down to just, just that table. Uh, Python 3 Okay, so import pandas as pd. Now, if you use a semicolon, you can put another command after it. So, import pandas, what's next? We need something like, we'll stick with df. No, we'll do that in a minute. So PD need to put a print around it anyway. So oh, let's just test. There we go. Right. So now we need to put our pandas specific code in here and we will use pd read underscore html this is this read underscore html is what is going to do all the the magic so i'm going to paste in the url which i'm just going to copy and paste Okay, the bit that does the work, just to re-emphasize, is pd.read underscore html. Let's run it. And why is that? I think it needs another parenthesis. <laughs> there we go. Um, so I kind of lied because I said it was all going to be one line. Let's do it again. One line. Right, what can we do next? Let's, I'm curious as to how many characters that is. Let's just uh, copy and paste that into Sublime. Paste. I'm just doing this off the edge of my screen just in case it goes pear-shaped. Haha, <laughs> 100 characters. How's about that then, boys and girls? Look, 100 characters selected. Right, what's next? Well, that was that was fantastic, but if you look at the Wikipedia page, you'll see that there are several tables. The one that I want is the table with the champions in it, which... Uh, let me just show you again this table so we don't care about that comes through as a table um, that probably does um, that as well so uh, let's try and pick out table four or five and see what happens so um, I want this, which is 
the result of the fifth table. So what's the difference? That gets all of the page. So that was a table. That was and so on. Oh, that's a table after it as well. So let's just clear that. Okay, so all of the page, table five. And there we have it. 1990, sorry, 1985 to 2004, all of the, the champions. Team, car, champion team. Now, I'm sure this is quite niche. You're not all fans of Formula 3000 from 20 odd years ago. But what this shows is that you can extract data from Wikipedia or anywhere else really for that matter if it has a table. And using pandas, you can do a one-liner. So just to highlight a couple of things here, the, the semicolon there, that allows you to put a second command on one line. So normally in your script you'd have that as the import. And then line two would be, well you'd probably set all the, put all that into a variable. But so that I could keep it on one line. Uh, we've read that. pd.readhtml the Wikipedia page into here, which we then print. We print the fifth table. So my slice, well, it's not slicing, is it? It's using the index. Uh, if we change it to five, sorry, six, we should get a much smaller table, which just mentions the, mm, I think it's non-championship races. Yeah, that's pretty useless. Let's try another table then. Let's try table four. Okay. And that's a kind of a, a summary of of the Wikipedia pay. Um, let's just bring it back up. What is it actually? Oh, it's final year specifications. Okay, so it's details of the last year in which the the category ran. This article may rely excessively on sources too closely aged to the subject. Good. Well, what can we do next? Right, let's wrap this up. So, from the start, import pan. Pandas as PD, and we want to save. So we're going to make a data frame. So DF equals. So that line again, and right, that's now loaded into a variable called DF, which is a data frame. Now that's the whole page. Let's just go back and get table five. Good, no error. Um, now we need to, it's loaded as a DF, so let's just do DF to underscore CSV, and we want to call it web scraping F3000 dot CSV uh, the separator <laughs> separator equals comma because we want it as a CSV standard CSV and I know this from previous experience we need to set it uh, the encoding as UTF dash eight dash sig that's two lines, bugger. Ha, <laughs> it's made it. Right, pretend that, pretend you didn't see that. Let's run it all on one line. So, if I can copy all that. Copy. Right. 
import pandas as pd df equals so that's well we know all that worked because we just saw the csv in the uh, in the folder right so df is equal to the fifth table on that wikipedia page and then we say write that data frame to a csv csv can be called web scraping f3000 separator is a comma encoding is utf so i know that's gone on to two lines but effectively well it is one line it's just because it's gone off the edge of the screen and i've just clicked my microphone which is not good um let's run it so let's just check we've not got a file there already no uh, i'll make it always on top there we go and let's run it The time is 15.05 and we have no bytes, uh, 1.8, hmm. That's looking pretty good. Web scraping, one line. This is this is rather fascinating. Look at that. Now I'm not sure how long that would have taken to write in beautiful soup or, or, or uh, requests. Not much longer, but that is very neat. And the one other thing you can do in pandas is you can write them. Um, Sorry, the microphone keeps on clicking. This is not good. I need to sit up a bit. Uh, there is a command, uh, I think it's dot capital T, and you can transpose. So if you wanted to, you could put season driver team car championship down here, and then you could have the years going across there. That's up to you. Just be aware that that exists and i hope you've enjoyed this this is i don't know this is there's something really cool about this so i hope you've enjoyed it and uh, we'll be back soon don't forget to um uh, subscribe <laughs>